sometime in the 1980s, if you were watching MTV or listening to the radio, I'm sure you've probably heard of our next performer. Catapulted to stardom by more than a dozen hits and a song in one of the highest grossing films of all time, we're going back to the future now where Huey Lewis is still hip to be square. His real name is Hugh Anthony Craig III. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. But we know him as Huey Lewis. They, they, they see us as kind of an 80s pop band in, in America, but we never really have always been a rock and roll band. Before the news, and before his original band Clover, Huey Lewis wasn't playing to packed stadiums and concert halls across America. He was playing to people on the streets of Europe. And I played, you know, in the, in the subways and the squares of London and, and, you know, France and Germany and so on. And uh, yeah, in those days, you know, maybe I made a dollar, but the, 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 the youth hostel was 25 cents and a full course meal was 25 cents and I still had 50 cents. And I remember a little light went off in my head. I said, this is what I want to do. With a purpose and a flair for performing, Huey Lewis in the News entered the rock scene of the 1980s at a time when MTV was changing the way fans looked at fans. We never thought much about our appearance, you know, the image and all that sort of stuff. It was always an audio thing and now it's so much of a video thing. But that served us well over the years. So well, in fact, Huey Lewis and the News went on to sell close to 10 million copies of their 1983 smash hit album, Sports, featuring I Want a New Drug, I want a new drug. Want the sick? and The Heart of Rock and Roll. Lewis and the News have released more than a dozen albums, including their latest, 2001's Plan B. But Huey Lewis admits that most of their earlier hits are the ones that mean more to them now, more than ever. And it, and it occurs to me, you know, we, we, when we tour now, we play songs that we wrote in our 20s, and they're actually more relevant now than they were then, possibly because I've always been old-fashioned, you know, and now I'm old enough to wear it. But, uh, uh, it's a good feeling. I'm, I, I, it's not something we paid any attention to when we were younger, but fortunately, uh, I've always liked that sort of anachronistic stuff, trying to, you know, timeless was, was the object, and, and the songs were really well up. Huey Lewis and the News perform about 70 shows a year. This August, they headline the Professional Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Canton, Ohio.